go. In this episode, we're Yamadori hunting for Porta Lacartia Afra with these guys. As said in the intro, we're over here with Gus, Alex here, and his wife that's all the over there in the truck. <laughs> and we're here to dig these bad boys, uh, Port Lacartia Afra, better known as Dwarf Jade. Look how big this guy. Alex, put your hand or foot right by that big boy right there. I got big hands too. Look at that. Jeez, that's like, what, 12 inches? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we got this whole front yard. So we're going to help this homeowner take apart this whole thing today level off and put some grass topper on it they're getting rid of it so before you always dig ask permission gus got permission thanks you gus for doing that and of course be prepared to dig so we got some tools some dirt bags and yeah a lot of other stuff and hard work especially after painting uh eves yesterday my arms are really sore but anyways um just give a quick look before we start digging um look at these guys i mean they're just massive in here Hey Gus, you think this has been here for what, 10, 15 years? 20 plus years. They've so owned, about they've 20. Owned the home for over. I've known these homeowners for my whole life. 20 and they plus have years, and they've had these have been here this long. All right. So, so we're gonna. It might take us a couple hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some. Um, well, Alex too. So we're gonna do some quick uh, stop and go filming. But let's see if we can get this up done before noon, topped off, and then uh, everything else. But quick before we start digging. Um, we're trying to keep as much as the top as possible. Um, what these guys do is uh, just by listening to a couple uh, experts on Port Lacarias, um, they rot really easy once they um, are watered immediately after digging. So what you should do is actually keep the top as much as you can, take that energy that's, that's in the system right now and just dig them up, pot, pot them, don't water them. That's the number one rule. Don't ever water these until you see growth. Um, if you water them, they're dead. So I'll stop for now. We'll start digging and we'll come back in 12 minutes here. Easy clearing of work. A lot of these are uh, air layers or ground layers of some of these branches. Gus is working on something that looks like about 15 inches. Yeah, easy. Wow. <laughs> I don't think a pot, I think the pot's gonna work more than a tree after a while. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's massive. That's usually a good, no? Oh man, it's I wish. 14 inches, my hands are six. Days like this, I wish I brought my saws off. <laughs> yeah. Where's the little saw hand saw hand? Oh, yeah, good luck on that one, Gus. I'm trying to clear the little ones. Look at this guy. That's only one of them. There's probably multiple ones like that in there. <laughs> clear so I don't mess up with the actual curing the barring. You know sometimes when you're collecting trees it's the size. It's size you're looking for but I think that's like a young man's tree. I, I, I'm, I'm going yeah I'm kind of afraid of that one already. <laughs> you're afraid of it. Hey, think that about repotting. Good. Think about repotting that. That repotting will be a good chore. Right there. Hey guys. Morning. Morning. How you doing good sir? Morning. I got a rock bar too. Rock bar, I might have to... No, cut it, uh, do it, do a okay. circle cut around it. Circle cut around it? Circle cut around it and then pry it from one side and uh, then use leverage for it. So you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> More than once. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hear the word circle cut around it. <laughs> oh, wow, no, look. So, do you, so, I know you're the owner. Yeah. How long have you been here? Uh, my dad bought this house in 1965. Okay, so almost about 80, 80 years now. 65, another 40, 40 within a 20. Oh, sorry. 60 years. 60 years. Yeah. And then how long has this particular plant or this, this uh, Port well, Lacanto has been here? Well, probably the whole time. Oh, wow. So this is, you're talking about 60, 60 yeah. plus years probably. Yeah, your history. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> there you go, people. Old trees. Let's see, if they can make, let's see if we can dig it out without hurting our backs. <laughs> oh, 
So uh, after an, uh, about two hours, I went home to go get back a Sawzall because, you know, one of these things are Sawzall. That's what's left. That's some of the cutting. Give me an idea of my foot. Yeah, uh-huh. We got a massive one right there pulled out. A lot of cuttings. Uh, still not done yet. We got a cascade down there. There's a cascade. Another one in the back. And then Alex is cutting straight through. This is it. Look at this, what's left over. Look, look over there. That is it, nothing. Without the Sawzall, I think we would have been dead. I agree. Uh, that's a club pile. We want to pick up a... Alex, you want to pick up a monster for what's uh, what's going to be donated to the club? Look at those things. We want big, this is big. Look at those, and character too. Yeah, all have character, nice fishers. The age. How old were these, Tom? 60 years old plus? Yeah, 60 years old. Yeah. Amazing. Alright. Long day at work. Working on these trees. Um, this is what I picked up. One of them I picked up. I'm going to let it dry for about um, two weeks, two, three weeks, until all the uh, cuts are all kind of dried out. Um, these uh, ports are kind of notorious for rotting out uh, when you water them too early. So some of the aftercare is really to um, let it dry out. I'm going to put it in a pot, um, probably with pumice, just to weigh it down. This thing is, I mean, you can tell, I think it's ginormous. Um, and it's kind of the fun one. Um, so that's what we're going to do, put it in some pumice, put it in a big pot, not water it at all, probably for a month. Um, I'm going to let it dry out first before I put it in a pot so I make sure it doesn't dry rot or wet, wet rot basically, or root rot, it. okay? Uh, and then um, until you see growth, like vigorous growth that's going all over, like new growth that's pushing, um, that means the root growth has occurred, and then that's the time when you want to water these things. But until then, um, they're pretty drought resistant, so um, hey, you know, they grow in Africa, so there's a reason for it. So um, like and subscribe if you guys have any comments for this one. Um, put below and maybe we'll respond back. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, thank you Gus, Alex for today. Could have done without you guys. It's awesome. Bye-bye.